Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane, joining you from lovely San Diego, where I am currently facilitating a Being You Changing the World three and a half day class. And wow, the level of change I'm seeing, the, the difference. I mean, there are some people who were in this class three years ago who've come back and to see how different they are is, is one of the most amazing gifts in the world. So one of the things that comes up of course, during a Being You class is, well, Being You, you know? It's strange that it's almost like the class was titled that, you know? And so one of the things that has come up over the course of this weekend was people talking about how they had a very difficult time being around certain people. And what I recognized is, what happens is, it's really sort of tough when, when your aim and your target and your desire is to be you, whatever that is, it's really tough a lot of times to be around people who are not actually being them. But see, nobody knows when they're not being them. So you can't say, hey, by the way, you're not being you, are you? And they'd look at you like, uh, what, what, what else would I be? So a lot of times you go into judgment of you because you can't seem to create a connection or because you can't seem to create a difference in their world or you can't seem to create them being happy or getting your point of view. But if they're not being them, they can't. So how many times in your life have you made yourself wrong for not being able to create a connection with somebody and what was actually going on was they're not willing to be them. They're not willing to even approach that subject or know what that would be like. Everything that is and everything you've done to make you wrong in any way, will you destroy and uncreate it please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So you can hear the seagulls around me probably. Uh, I can definitely hear them. But you know, it's like, let's just use that for a moment, okay? I'm watching them fly. But it's like, when you encounter a seagull, a seagull is a seagull, you know what I mean? I mean, they all have different personalities, they all have different characteristics, ways of being, as do we, because they're beings of and you know un unto themselves. But you never encounter a seagull that's like, oh, I'm just not gonna be what I am. You know, the other seagulls have been judging me and the other birds look at me like I'm too much, so I'm not gonna be, it. they don't do that shit. So one of the things you might recognize is when you have difficulty being around somebody, is that you and is that your problem or is that your awareness of where they have a difficulty being them? Can you hear the plane? There's all kinds of stuff going on in San Diego. There's wind, there's birds, there's planes. It, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. So what if you started to recognize that maybe it's not you, maybe you're not the one having the problem. Maybe your awareness is such that when you perceive somebody that has a difficulty being them or is a, in judgment of them as they are, all of a sudden now it feels like your world is weird, but what if it's not your world? You know that thing, who does this belong to? And we talked about it and there's an entire channel on YouTube about it that I have, but what if this is the awareness of where somebody truly can't be them and it's actually not your fault and what if you didn't have to make you wrong for not being able to change it? So, what if you decided is wrong about you when other people can't be them? Everything that is, times of God's leading we destroy and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. Once again, what if you decided is wrong about you when other people can't be them or refuse to be them? Everything that is times a godzillion, we just run and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And one last time, what is it you've decided is wrong with you? When other people can't be them or when they refuse to be them? Everything that is times a godzillion, we just run and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So I hope this helps you come out of the wrongness of you, come out of the idea that you don't know what you're doing, come out of the idea that that you're somehow being a bad person because you can't make this person get what you're talking about. You know what? They've created their lives in the way that they have based on what has occurred for them in their life and what they were choosing and what they wanted to create or what they don't realize they wanted to create. So what if instead of making you wrong or making them wrong, you could recognize, wow, this person is just having a tough time being them. This may go on for a very long time and it's not your fault nor is it theirs, nor is it anybody's fault. It's simply a choice that's being made in the moment. Everything that is, times of God's lady and we just strong and creative, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. And on that note, my beautiful friends from lovely San Diego, 
the Being You Changing the World class, which as far as I can tell is actually living up to its name. So I'm seeing people pop into actually being grateful to be alive as them. And from what they're telling me, their family is changing as a result of it. So I adore you. I look forward to being with you next time on the Tour of Consciousness. Bye-bye. <laughs>